Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Uh, my name is Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I am doing another inspired by soap. Um, so this soap is inspired more about the fragrance oil and not anything about the actual soap itself. I do watch uh, Shauna over at Nozumi Soaps and I will link her channel down below. But she has made um, a soap with lavender chamomile from Nurture Soap. And she talks about how much she really does like this fragrance oil. So, of course, I had to go get it. <laughs> and I love this fragrance oil. I'm so excited that uh, she shared this with us so that I could go out and get this and make a soap with it. So my soap today is lavender chamomile. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a bigger batch and I'm going to use my goat's milk today. I haven't done that in quite a while. I don't know why, uh, but I am running out, so I have to go get some more. Here's the thing. <laughs> lavender chamomile. I mean, doesn't that kind of require purple and yellow? Lavender chamomile. Doesn't that kind of need the purple and yellow? I just got done making a black raspberry vanilla soap with purple and yellow. And I really tried to figure out what I could do differently as far as using a different color scheme, but I just keep going back to the purple and yellow. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to have two soaps on my shelf, purple and yellow, but I'm hoping that they'll be completely different. So I have a couple purples. I have a couple yellows. I'm going to do a gold mica line. I'm going to do like one third just purple with the golden mica line. I've done that a couple of times with lavender and I just think it's gorgeous when, when I do that. So I'm going to do that again and probably just in, in the pot swirl for the top two thirds of the, of the uh, soap. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the top. I'll probably just skewer it guys. <laughs> probably just skewer it. So everything's just about ready. I am going to finish getting ready and then yeah, Let's make some lavender chamomile. Thanks, Shauna. All right, let's get a move on. Guys, it's 8.30. <laughs> no wonder I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this goat milk in here and get it blended in. It gets really chunky when I freeze it and thaw it. So I like to blend that in here rather than later. So I have in here Queen for a Day from Nurture Soap. And in here, I have Reborn Strong Yellow from TKB and Soapberry Purple Yellow um, from TKB. And those are the last of those colorants. So I won't be using those again. I don't think I'll be ordering from TKB anymore. Nothing against them. I just have other suppliers that I've come to use and enjoy using. So uh, those are done for me. But I really like that Soapberry Purple a lot. So. Oh, I need to go get my fragrance oil real quick. Wait off. So I'll be right back. It smells so good. I'm having a bath bomb crazy day tomorrow. I'm going to see if that's good for bath bombs because that smells really good. So if you haven't seen my other video about my inspired by soaps, I'll, I'll post that up above there so you can go check that out. So earlier I made a uh, soap with um, avocado, real avocado pulp. I bought six avocado guys, six, six of them, and I only needed three, or two I mean. It was ridiculous. All right, hang on. I'll be right back. Ah, a few bubbles in here. So I just wanted to uh, weigh off about a third, give or take, uh, for the bottom. And normally my bottom is the dark purple, but this time I think I'm going to do it with the lighter purple and just, just for something different because I've always done the really dark purple on the bottom layer. I'm going to add even a little TD in here. Look at all those bubbles. Goodness. 
I've gone to use an oil in my TD instead of water and I really am having a lot of a lot better luck with that. Oh, that's a lot of bubbles, guys. Heavens, this is a slow moving fragrance oil. <laughs> Wow, guys, I am at a trace, but I, I, I did that for a, a hot minute there. That was, that was quite a, quite a bit of, um, stick blending. Okay, let me make myself some room here. Okay, so I'm going to let that set up, and I'm just going to stir in my other colors here. And that is why I love Soapberry Purple. So maybe I, maybe I will <laughs> get TKB again, get an order going, because I really, really love this purple. God, that's gorgeous. This is a very pretty, uh, kind of a plummy purple with the TD in there. this aside and let's see if this is ready to do my little thing where's my I'm giving myself lots of dishes guys uh, it's not really ready not ready at all all right I'm gonna I wonder if I should if you know to make this setup faster should I cover it or should I leave it open seems like I should cover it I'm going to give it like three or five minutes. This is a, like a super slow moving fragrance. So I'm just going to keep stirring, give it some time, maybe clean up in here a little bit. And yeah, we're going to texture it before we do our mica line. All right. These are ready and pretty perfect. And this is also perfect. All right, guys, look at this. Yay. I don't know that I want to go that deep. Let's get. And now I'm going to be using some Gold Sparkle from Brambleberry. Ah, uh, come on. I'm running out of spoon. This is about the last of my gold sparkly um, mica. I need to find find some more. Oops. All right. 
This is maybe just a little bit thick for an in the pot swirl, but this isn't. This is perfect. The color should stay nice and separated this way. I'm not even going to oh, twist it. I'm just going to let it go. Oh, this is heavy on my wrist. All right, so <laughs> I have calendula petals that I was just going to kind of sprinkle on top. I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Oh, it looks silly. It's too late now. Maybe if I put them in a row, but I think it just looks silly. <laughs> I don't, I wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well, I have these petals, I don't do anything with them and I thought, yeah, I'll just throw it on top of the soap and I think it just looks silly. Oh well guys, all right, I'm gonna see pop this one and cut it in a couple days. All right guys, check this out. Ah, it was green a second ago. <laughs> I cut these not even three minutes ago and all of this was just this ugly green. Let's see what, looks, what it looks like on the inside. I bet there's some ugly green on the inside, so. Um, uh, this is a really good lavender, guys. <laughs> I was like all ready to show you this uh, weird, weird morphing colors and it looks completely normal. <laughs> all right, let's see here. There it is. Look at that. It's green. <laughs> that doesn't freak me out anymore. Look at how ugly that was when I cut those into logs. <laughs> and then by the time I get done cleaning these up, that green will be gone. Isn't that crazy? I literally had to go upstairs and look at the video to make sure I didn't put green in this. So, <laughs> it's like, nope, I didn't. I really like this really pale purple on the bottom. I think that's kind of nice and soft and uh, quite quite lovely, actually. I've always done a really deep purple when I've done this kind of design. So it's kind of nice for something different. All right, I'm not gonna make you look at the ugly green. <laughs> I've got some air pockets in here, my goodness. All right, I'm gonna clean them up and I will bring you back. I'm not sure about the petals on top. I mean, <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it just was kind of stupid. <laughs> but other than the stupid little calendula petals that I sprinkled on top, in some no rhyme or reason fashion. 
I really like this. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, I tried to do a, um, um, I, I tape, I, I, I let the camera run, what I'm trying to say. I let the ca camera run, oh, I let the camera run on the changing or the morphing of the colors. I don't know if I got to it in time. So if, so if I, if I did, I'll, I'll throw that in, you know, either beside me or in the middle of this to, um, show you the, uh, time lapse. That's what, that's the word I'm looking for. I, I'm trying, I'm going to try to do a time lapse. Next time this happens, I'm absolutely going to stop what I'm doing and throw the camera on the bar so we can kind of time lapse it in real time. It had probably been cut one to two minutes before I started time lapsing it or videotaping the bar. So I don't know if it's going to catch it from the very beginning because it was so green. <laughs> But uh, I really am, am happy with these colors. The purple and yellow is completely different from what I did before. Super happy that I, I don't have two bars that look exactly the same. I really like my mica line. I love this really um, soft purple. Oh, the scent smells so good. Oh, thanks, Shauna. Thanks for recommending this. Um, you're great. I love the scent and I understand why you would want to use it more than once because I definitely do. This is a really, really good lavender that's not just lavender. Um, so I really like it. I hope you guys liked watching me make this lavender chamomile soap. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be so much appreciated. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you hated it, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay. And yeah, uh, I thank you, Shauna, for inspiring me to get this bottle of fragrance oil uh, from Nurture Soap. And yeah, guys, that's it. So I'll see you in the next one.